Welcome to the solution of problem sheet one, exercise four. This is again a rather short exercise investigating the point group of a rectangle. The details of how to extract symmetries out of a geometric object can be seen in video two of the same problem sheet as this one. Here I take it as given that you can see from the point group of a rectangle you can recognize a rotation by pi you, and you can recognize two mirror planes orthogonal to each other. This group is called C2V. In the first part we want to find different ways how to, note, how to find a notation for the symmetry elements, just the same as in exercise 2. For finding the corresponding symmetry operations in the OH group, this time we take a different approach. We can write down how coordinates transform under the operation x, y, and z. C2 negates every, every coordinate but the z coordinate, and the two mirror planes we take only one coordinate in inverted. With this representation, we can look up in table 1.1 and find the corresponding uh, symmetry operations in the OH group C to Z, I, C to X, C to Y. The, of course, this wasn't able. We weren't able to do that in exercise two because there the situation wasn't quite that obvious. When looking for matrices, how to transform any coordinate in our plane corresponding to the symmetry operations, of course we are invited to take the Cartesian coordinate system again. So for the identity matrix, both x and y coordinates are left invariant. For the C2, operation, as we can see from over here, both coordinates are inverted. One mirror plane inverts the f f first coordinate, the other mirror plane inverts the second coordinate. And this is for the Cartesian coordinate system. When we're looking for uh, conjugacy classes, we again take page 16 and find that the element E is an own conjugacy class. We have only one type of rotation, so this one forms another conjugacy classes. And now the remaining question is whether those two mirror planes can be transformed into each other with a symmetry group element. This is of course not the case because we need the C4 element to transform this one into this one or the other way around, so we have different conjugacy classes for both elements. Or the When uh, looking for the multiplication table of C2V, We proceed as in the lecture. And because of the property of the identity element, we can simply copy the first row and the first column. Then we see if we rotate two times by pi, we arrive at the identity. If we mirror two times at the same mirror plane, we arrive with the identity. So this is clear. Now what happens if we rotate and then mirror? We can multiply these matrices to see it, or we can just look at the picture and see, oh yeah, this we can recognize as mirroring at the other plane and the rest can be full, filled out with the rearrangement theorem. Of course here's no prime. 
C2, C2. One last remark. Finding the conjugacy classes was here very easy because the rules were quite obvious. But we could have seen that also from the matrix representation. Because uh, the conjugacy classes represent matrix similarity from what you know from linear algebra. So A and B are conjugate to each other. If we have elements X, which can be, which transform those into these. And you can see that there's no way we change from here to here, or from here to here, or from here to here. This is all quite obvious because these matrices are in a very simple form. Therefore, it is sometimes useful to write down the matrix representations of different symmetry operations because you can read out several things easily. Thank you for watching. This is exercise 4. I hope you understood everything.